favorite tea time, my sweet strangers. This is another of my inspirational bullet journal setups. If you are a fan of Great Gatsby and Art Deco times, this is the right setup for you. Forget the year and just enjoy the flow. As always, I'm using a Flying Tiger bullet journal, which is a good value for a low price. And I'm starting with a fitting inspirational quote from Audrey Hepburn this time. After sketching the quote on plain paper and finding the layout I like, I'm using assorted gold markers to decorate my first page of the journal. I will put all the supplies in the description box below. I like to mix different period fonts with my brush lettering. A little outline in black here and there. I found out it's good to use a zig marker as a base under the Pilot Super Color. It helps to block the color bleed to the next page. And don't forget to shade the Pilot Pen well before writing. Since my theme for this journal is Art Deco and Art Nouveau, I did a little research on patterns, graphics and decorative lettering used in those times. And I'm, of course, using a lot of black and rich gold. The next page is my yearly calendar. I just realized I meant to write in English. It seems that mistakes develop creativity, so I've decided to cut little pieces of black chalk foil to write the new month's names in gold on it and stick it above the dates. I glued the pieces with the temporary glue to the paper so I could comfortably write on them. I sketched the titles on the paper below first to see how to align them on the little tags. Pilot Gold is so strong you can brush over it with a black zig twin marker to get a solid black background. After that there is a traditional index page. And then my year assessment page. Where I can think about what I accomplished last year, what I learned and what mistakes I did. Below I can focus on what things to change in the new year, what I want to learn, how I want to feel, and things I would like to let go of. On the opposite page are my goals for the upcoming year, divided into my usual eight groups. I put here my goals for my little house and garden, my career, my health, traveling, finances, and my art and projects. Next is my ideal habit section to keep me reminding the regular chores of the mornings, evenings, weeks and the months. And a bit ambitious bookshelf to remember what I read. On the opposite page is a space for all the quotes and smart and funny sayings I come across that year.
and then again a place for all my new words to remember. I like to include a place for maybe 20 interesting things to do that year. Even though it seems quite challenging to come up with 20 things to write down here. Sometimes there is a mistake that's like a beauty mark. On the next page I have a year in pixels chart to keep track of the regularity of whatever is needed. You can use symbols, letters, colors to track different things like weather, moods, good deeds or headaches. Right next to it, a little place to keep track of my gas and mileage. I'm dedicating a whole page to the gist list to help me with my procrastination. I write my work tasks that I desperately need to focus on at the top and my personal tasks at the bottom half of the page. The next spread is for my crafty handed ideas, notes and plans. Oh yeah, and a little room for my wish list. My last setup spread is a year overview to plan ahead. <laughs> 